Well, hello, Glue Troopers. Welcome back to the Tarvis. Uh, if I didn't tell you, the fluorescent lights in here are out, which is why the kind of weird mood lighting. Uh, I have enough uh, work lamps that I can do my work. Unfortunately, with all these models hanging up here, which may have to come down, and the fact that that ceiling's about 10 feet up, uh, we've decided best, I, I know it's probably just a baluster starter, but it's probably best to go have a professional electrician do it because, you know, if I, were to slip and fall or something, you know the deal. Um, I'm fat and old and the wife says, you're not climbing any ladders. So anyway, uh, but until then, I'll be working in uh, the mood lighting. So uh, I managed to get that little Nito Fuji F1 pretty much done. Uh, the solve set's working on it. I wasn't gonna put a lot of time on it. I used a bare aluminum paint scheme. Uh, I actually did use the decals that came with it. That kit came out in 65, which means those decals are over 50 years old and except for a little yellowing they worked fine they, they they didn't break they laid down even the cowling ones seem to be doing a pretty good job I, I gotta give them credit their molds and may not be much but their decals whoever made their decals are great so well I say that assuming they don't peel off in a day so there you go got a little bit of work done on Patton's power wagon and uh, it's starting to come to shape. I figured out a better way to put those tires on uh, since uh, I was sent those uh, other tires that were hollow. At, at, when I first put them on, they, they didn't quite fit. If I let them sit on the outside of the rim a little bit and kind of cover the face, it was like, yeah, okay, they, they're stable. Then I realized if I put the tire, the rim, all the way through the axle, because I have an axle mounted on it, and then came back from behind, I could get the lip of the tire to fold in on the rim and looks pretty good. Uh, and it doesn't matter if the back's overlapped because no one's gonna see it back there. Playing with a couple ideas for a desert trope air filter slash shaker top. So we'll see how that pans out. And uh, so a little bit of work done there. The weather was really lousy today, so I didn't get out here too much. In fact, it was lightning and thundering and everything. I had to walk out in the rain to get out here. And I know it's only 10 feet from the house, but uh, you know, when you hear that Florida thunderstorms. Native Floridians learn not to trifle with the lightning. <clears throat> so, uh, if I didn't say it, I am planning plan a live stream tomorrow. I've already been working on some things. We'll be talking about some uh, cars that were kitted, but maybe only a handful of kits made, you know, uh, underrepresented automobiles. And we'll probably wind up talking about cars also a little bit. We'll also be talking about uh, paint schemes, uh, particularly naval paint schemes. I had some questions sent to me about why the Navy paints helicopters one color and airplanes the other. And, and I actually talked to Mike Machat about that uh, and he had a little bit of input because uh, he's dealt with this kind of stuff. And also he has that artistic eye, which means a lot. And then uh, also uh, some interesting stuff on some kaiju builds I found online. Um, Maybe that uh, big Polar Lights Godzilla I made wasn't uh, quite as good as I built as I thought when I saw some work some other folks did, but we'll talk about that. And I'll include a link to their YouTube channels. But uh, that's that's pretty much what today was. And uh, I'll probably spend most of the day getting ready for the live stream, trying to collect some more stuff. And there we go. That's it. That's all that's going on. And guys, I hope you're having a wonderful evening. Take care of yourselves. And as always, model on.